our work has taken us in the direction of ultraviolet radiation because a lot of data now exists that show that um, melanomas taken off of, uh, you know, from primary sites off of people, off of patients, are abundant um, molecular evidence of UV signature mutations. So UV really does matter to a lot of cases of melanoma. We're studying the melanocortin-1 receptor because the melanocortin-1 receptor regulates a lot of the melanocyte's ability to deal with UV radiation. And it does so in two main ways. One is it regulates how much pigment a melanocyte will make. So melanocytes are the pigment producing cells in the skin. They're in the epidermis and the hair follicle and they give our skin and hair color. Okay? Some people have dark skin and hair, some people have light skin and hair. The darker your skin is, the more protected you are from UV radiation because that melanin pigment acts as a sunblock. And so the UV can't really penetrate and cause mutations that form the basis of melanomas and, and non-melanoma skin cancer like basal cell and squamous cell carcinoma. So the melanocortin-1 receptor clearly plays a role in, in skin pigmentation, but it also does more than that. We've been studying its function in um, repairing damage caused by UV radiation. So if ultraviolet light can get through, it can damage bases in our DNA, and if those are left, they remain and they're not fixed, they can start um, the process and contribute to carcinogenesis and melanoma formation.